Addendum 1, Incident Report of Containment Breach at Site 511 Redacted. Document I F511 11, Personnel Involved D 7856, Male Subject 35 Years of Age. Date August 27, 19 Redacted. Location Site 511 Redacted, Redacted Evergreen Way, Redacted California. Description. After determining what a permanent human presence at a SP-511 site results in moderation of aggression in SP-511-1. Containment protocol is updated to require Class D personnel Sorry. That reside on site in the event the original homeowner is deceased. Six months after this policy is established, D-7856 is assigned to SP- is assigned to Site-511-1 redacted. As expected, within a week, aggression levels of SCP-511-1 toward Foundation personnel lessened considerably. 16 days after being signed to Site-511-1 redacted, D-7856 began showing signs of increased aggression, verbally abusing Foundation personnel and engaging in superficial vandalism of Site-511-1 redacted. D-7856 is reprimanded. 18 days into his assignment, D-7856 interferes with a Foundation team by throwing garbage and yelling obscenities. D-7856 is subdued with a tranquilizer dart and locked in his quarters. At 20 days, D-7856 begin, begins capturing SB-511-1 and data expunged is only discovered when a Foundation team enters for routine specimen collection 48 hours later. The team discovers remains from 37 separate SP-511-1 collected in a kitchen. Bodies are dismembered and show signs of data expunged. D-7856 body is discovered in the basement after an apparent attempt to data expunged. Site 511 redacted is incinerated as an emergency containment procedure. Okay, I think there's something to that crazy cat lady idea. I think we need to be more careful with the class D's on this one. Dr. A redacted. So, Dr. A Clef. Dun, 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 dun. Well, his name is actually Alto Clef, so it actually does work. <laughs> oh my god. His name is literally a. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go, Jerry. You happy? So wait, it's it's a, a decomposing ball of flesh that chooses to be like a cat that makes people into crazy cat leaders. Yes. Right. Uh, read everything, but it's technically a cat mask that was summoned by cats. Read yeah. by cats because they hate humans. What tier list we doing? That tracks. Do huh? Five eleven. Wait, is Dragon still here? Yeah. Oh, they've just been quiet for a while. <laughs> The summarized 511 is an SCP created by cats that have been neglected and have no homes. They create the SCP out of hate for humans. It can infect humans and basically make them crazy cat people. And cat people, you say. Cats feed biomass to 511. It is covered in many things, but it's Basically, a giant cat abomination. I love it. Where can I get it? You you can't get it. It's 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 it stays it stays in one house for like pretty much eternity. So yeah. Damn. You could try to move it, but 
It sounds like it murders people who tries to move it. It does not like being moved. Oh shit, it's Chew. <laughs> oh, it's a cat. Chew is a mouse. Well, hear me out. It talked about how it was made up of some dead rodents, right? Oh my gosh. This is Chew. It is the loot of the cat. Me. Anyway. No, you're you aren't even near Lucifer of cats. You're a sweetie boy that thinks they can You're not you're not you're not the Lucifer of cats. Anyway, are we ready to go to the next SCP? That's Keener. Yes. Alright. Anyway. SCP-938 is a predatory electrical entity. The entity appears to exist as electrical potential of intensity similar to that which accompanies a moderate electric sto electrical storm. SCP-938 frequently travels with such storms and enters electrical grids through lightning strikes, often causing a temporary loss of power. Upon infiltrating an electrical grid, SCP-938 typically selects a single occupied structure to monitor. While dormant within the power grids, the only known indication of SB-938's presence are anomalous readings by devices sensitive to electromagnetic fields. SB-938 becomes active upon an electrical storm, entering within approximately 5 kilometers of its current location. Its behavior during this period of activity is characterized by interference with the function of electrical devices aimed at attracting the attention of individuals within the building. Individuals will attempt to interact with affected devices are electrocuted. In all but two recorded instances, this has resulted in the immediate cessation of all neural impulses. In the aforementioned two instances, only the victim's hearts were stopped. Both were successfully resuscitated and both experienced long-term uh, deleterious effects attributed to SCP-938's assault. Shortly afterward, SCP-938 returns to the atmosphere as lightning, rapidly disassociating to electrical potential and returning to its free state. SCP-938 ha has on at least one occasion vacated an unoccupied structure without attempting to att attract the attention of its residents or visitors, and twice after uh, efforts which appeared aimed at attracting the attention of singular individuals. Analysis of high-precision electromagnetic field readings indicate anomalous, highly localized intensity fluctuations consistent with human neural, neural activity in the vicinity of SP-938. Conservative uh, estimates placed the lower bound of distinct neural patterns at approximately 100,000. Of the 12 successfully isolated 5 indicate average levels of, of conscious thought, 4 indicates levels of activity dirt, dirt above the norm consistent with the elevated stress levels, and, and 3 are consistent with the stage of N, N3 NREM sleep. Periodically, SB-938 will fixate on the, an individual. These indiv individuals are designated SB-938-A. Prior to feasibility of containment, SB-938 has uh, was documented pursuing a single target for 36 years, 11 months, and 6 days until the target died of natural causes. The exact traits which prompt SB-938 to fixate on an individual are unknown. In 12 and 19 recorded instances, SB-938 are documented to suffer from a number of disorders relating to stress or paranoia, including post-traumatic stress disorder, paranoid sch schizophrenia, and a number of severe phobias. These disorders are likely the result of extended proximity to SB-938 and are not uh, a criterion by which its basis target selection. And there you go, that's the entity. It is my personal headcanon that this entity is an aspect of, or is in some relation to Thor, 
and he specifically sends these things after Nazis to fry them. Oh my gosh. Besides that, certain groups. I'm done. Yeah, because it's not like going after a wide range of people. I mean, it, it literally could kill multiple people at once. It, it's, it, it turns into lightning. It, 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 just, it just wants to kill that one individual who's probably like Hitler. And then, and then go back up into the atmosphere and chill with Thor until he has to go kill another Nazi. I mean, German party guy. <laughs> like I said, this is my personal headcanon. Yeah, I mean it's perfectly uh, fair to put in certain groups. It's not going after a wide range of people. Yeah, it's 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 not actively trying to like like if if these things wanted they could probably just completely destroy an entire city. Like yeah. like like just screw with the New York Jumbotron, bam. City full of people no longer living. But I don't think it's it doesn't seem like they want to do that. They just want to pick off individual fascists. Yeah. Oh gosh, for fuck's sake, catch it. Also, uh, this next SCP is also extremely popular, <laughs> but apparently it has a real low rating, but a lot of people know about them. Okay. It's what many people nicknamed the doggos. Oh, yeah, dogs. the doggos. Dogs? Uh, trust me, you don't want this as a dog. <laughs> These are not good doggo pets. No. <laughs> These are, these, these are predatory. Yeah. These are predatory dog-like entities that mimic human speech to draw people in into the dark and then consume them. Oh yeah, I remember these motherfuckers. Oh no, they yes. were pro. They have been prominently featured as one of the playable SCPs within uh, SCP Containment Breach. Yeah, or not Secret Containment Laboratory. Breach, uh, Secret Laboratory. That's what he meant. Yeah. I stopped playing that because a lot of people like going on there and and saying uh, racial slurs, and I'm like, I'm not getting banned because of your asses. I'm out. <laughs> Where? On SCP Secret Laboratory. Oh yeah. And they also like playing copyrighted music. That will definitely get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm, guessing, I'm, I'm guessing Tiger said something along the lines of need to head out and then left in the uh, middle of all of that. That's yeah. fine. Oh, muted them. Oh. Yeah. Are you ready to hear about the doggos? Yeah. Yeah. How many more of, of these are there? Do you guys want this to be the last one or do you want to keep going? Let's keep I'm going just a little asking. longer. Also, Penguin, I'm not sure we could ever run out of SCPs. I mean, yeah. It, it takes a very long while. Fair point. The thing I was going to say is, uh, if y'all are alright with pausing for a minute, I could really fucking use some coffee. Yeah, we can put it in intermission. Yeah, Don't actually, worry. Tea. Hold on. Yeah, like, in let's... three, two, one, intermission. Alright, okay. break time. Shall, shall we return with it and so yeah don't worry now i can actually check things in discord <laughs> oh yeah i should probably add that thing in family support How about the airplane There's actually one thing that upset me about the Discord party thing. 
is that it's mm -hmm. it doesn't go on the phone. Like you can't do it with the phone. Like I don't see any confetti. I don't see any shaking. I don't see nothing. They didn't put it on the phone. They only put it on like the computers. Which is stupid. Oh. Penguin, did you notice one of your roles that you have right under Child God? I hope they're still here. I mean, they're muted, so they're probably not. Also, I saw something that was a first, like, technically it was only at max supposed to give you five ads, like, Twitch is supposed to give you five ads or whatever, for what I was doing. Apparently, it gave Lucky seven ads. Hmm. I was like, jeez, it's only supposed to be five, why did they get seven? <laughs> I guess it was like instead of being like 30 seconds ads or whatever, they split to uh, one to 15 minute ads, maybe. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe. That would be even worse if they split all the ad uh, 30 second ads into 15 minute ones. That would be 10 <laughs> ads. It's fine. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I also saw that you liked the my pictures. I'm uh, not pictures, but the videos of the doggos. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna just. Oh, she she says, I forgot to mute my phone. <laughs> oh yeah. Did, did you, have you been able to, have you watched the, like, thing I sent? Not yet. But, uh, holy shit, they're actually getting some decent views. Mmm, <laughs> gummies. Hey, Dragon, did you notice, yeah. uh, notice the role that you got right under the child god? Um. No. We oh wait. Church of Broken Toast. Yep. Do I? Do I want to know? Fuck you, Tarna! You piece of shit. What? I saw the damn video. <laughs> it's accurate though, isn't it? Yes. Hey Rattler. Ra Jerry's not here. Oh. <laughs> We're uh, in our mission so we have to leave. Those those screenshots from that game are um I It's a porn game. I don't And it's in dumb posts. I don't, I don't think he knows that. I don't think he knows that, and I don't. The intro of the game literally, like, pretty much starts off with like eighteen plus content. Wait. I even played a divert reviews. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so should we should we tell him that he put it in like the wrong place or? Yeah, probably. So the like, eh, let's see, where was the?
dumb posts. I feel like the like pictures themselves aren't really like eighteen plus except for maybe the last one, but Yeah. Yeah, the last one's probably the only one of those. Yeah, but other than that, I, I don't think. Damn. I remember that game came out and there was like a whole controversy around it on TikTok. Because people were posting like clips from it onto TikTok and they're like, hey, that's a, that's an adult game. Um, You probably shouldn't post that on an app with teenagers. Also, as like a minor, like you probably shouldn't. Uh, and uh... Mm -hmm. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Hi. I didn't expect to announce myself with a belt, but. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> and Penguin, are you going to tell him about it? Uh, the men that you posted in dumb posts? Oh, the. You want to know about the guys in Dumb Post? I know who they are. Oh, but that's an 18 plus game. You're not allowed to know. Exactly. That's why I brought it up. I was like, hey, isn't that from a porn game? Oh. They're dressed, dressed like... They're dressed in a way in those images where, it's, where it can be put in Dumb Post, but... You shouldn't know where they're from! There was an entire controversy around the game on TikTok a few months ago. Controversy! Okay, so... So, people started posting clips from the game, and then people were like, Hey, this is an 18 plus game. You, you as like a minor, shouldn't be posting these clips or playing the game, but let alone. And also, a lot of like, the controversies were like, Oh yeah, this game was made by... Uh, made by a, like, a group that fetishizes gay men. That isn't gay men. <laughs> And then, like, there's, like, that, and then there's, like, just a lot of people are, like, yes. people making games about gay men because whatever little snowflakes they woke up on, but when you make a video game on something, you're typically not actually a gunfighter making this game. You're a bozeman. Okay, like so a lot of people are like, "Oh, anyone that plays this game that isn't a gay man is gay, uh, fetishizing gay men." Okay, so uh, I want to say something. I'm I'm a massive piece of shit. Mm -hmm. uh, I sent Kitty <laughs> the picture of SCP Doggo. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> they responded, "I did it." Oh fuck! I'm scared. Hold me. <laughs> <laughs> like. Yeah, a lot of the controversy around that game was people being like, hey, if you're a minor, you probably shouldn't like post content about it. And then a lot of other content was like just people saying that anyone who played it that wasn't a gay man was fetishizing gay men. And it was just, you know, it was the internet being the internet. It's not the internet being the internet, it's stupid people on the internet being stupid. Yeah. I on the I internet. Huh? I said on the internet. That's fair. So I'm just saying stupid people can exist anywhere. Being on the internet doesn't... Wait, Dragon, have I showed you the, the JoJo 1073 pictures? No. <laughs> I am scared. I don't like it when you giggle. <laughs> don't stop. Stop that. Stop. No, stop. No one. Stop. 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 No one likes it. Stop. There you go. No. It means bad things. Commonly glub glub. What is that? <laughs> it's JoJo one seven three. <laughs> Why? <laughs> they had to change it, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's JoJo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you be brave enough to blink? <laughs> if if instead they gave SCP, what's the number? 
one seven three. One seven. If if they gave SCP one seven three big bahonkers, maybe. That actually is a thing, and I'm not sending that to you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I sent it to Hatchet. <laughs> And they're not here at the moment. I would. Oh, oh, Hatcher, this. I would comment on that, but I'm eating popcorn, so fuck you. <laughs> so are we ready to go to nine three nine? No, I want you to sit here waiting longer. All right, we're going to nine three nine. Cause fuck you. Fuck you too. Okay. All right. And we're back, D-Class. Anyway, SCP-939 are endothermic pack-based predators which display a trophy of various systems similar to trogaloptic organisms. The skins of SCP-939 are high, highly permeable to moisture and translucent red, owing to a compound chemically similar to hemoglobin. SP-939 averaged 2.2 meters tall, standing upright and weigh an average of 250 kilograms. The weight is highly variable. Each of these, each of their four limbs end in three fingered claws with a fourth opposable digit and are covered in setae, which is considerably argument permeability. Their heads are elongated, devoid of ev. ev of even vestigial eyes or eye sockets and contain no brain case no brain casing. My brain died when I try to say the word even. <laughs> I almost said Evan. These things ate your brain casing. Yeah it did. <laughs> anyway, the jaws of SB939 are lined with red, faintly Luminescent, fang like teeth, similar to those belonging to specimens in the genus uh, Colodius, up to six centimeters in length and encircled by heat sensitive Real quick. organs. Real quick, what genus? C H A U L I O D U S. D U S. Oh, okay, viper fish. Yeah. Oh, okay, so like some of the deep sea monstrosity Wait, things. Wait, did I actually say that word correctly? No. I mean, shouldn't it, like, say in Google, like, this is the definition of the word and how to say it? You pulled it up? Um, Google is not the best thing for that. Damn. That takes more digging than I'm willing to do. It's it's the it's the order of big scary fish like uh angler fish, but thinner. Yeah. Big old chompers. Yep. Yeah, and anyway. Ice spots sensitive to light and dark run the length of their spine dorsal ridges. These spines may be up to 16 meters long and are believed to be sensitive to changes in air pressure and flow. SB-939 do not possess any viral organ systems, central or peripheral nervous systems, circulatory system, and digestive tract are all absent. SB-939 respiratory system is atrophied and serves no apparent purpose beyond sp spreading AMN Dash C two two seven, SCP nine three nine have no apparent sociological need to feed, nor any way to digest consume tissue. Ingesting material typically accumulates in the respiratory system of SCP nine three nine, and is regurgitated once the amount of is sufficient to markedly in inhabit its function. Despite the absence of many vital organ systems, SCP nine three nine are capable of bearing living young. SB-939 primarily method of foreign prey is the imitation of human speech and the voices of prior victims. 
you know, imitation of other species in active nocturnal hunts have been documented. SP939 vocalizations often imply significant uh, distress, whether SP939 understand their vocalizations or are repeating previously heard phrases is a subject of is subject of ongoing study. How SB939 acquire voices is not currently understood. Specimens have been documented imitating victims despite never hearing the victim speak. speak. Analysis of SB939 vocalizations cannot distinguish between SB939 and samples of known victim voices. The use of biometric voice recognition security or identification systems at any installation housing SB939 is strongly discouraged for this reason. Prey is usually killed with a single bite to the cranium or neck. Bite forces have been measured in excess of, of 35 MPA. SB939 exhale minute traces of an aerosolized class C anesthetic designated AM N dash C two two seven AMN dash C two two seven causes temporary integrated amnesia and inhibiting memory formation for the duration of exposure plus an average of thirty minutes. It is colorless, odorless, and tasteless with an estimated ECT fifty for an inhalation of zero point zero zero fifteen milligrams times minutes mat matters to third power? That is big math equation. And well ventilation or open air environments, risk of exposure to ECT50 is greatly reduced but not measurable. AMNC227 is typically undetectable in the bloodstream 60 minutes following cessation of exposure. Reported sensations of disorientation and mild hallucinations immediately followed on following removal uh, from the environment saturated within the agent are similar to recreation use of numerous psychoactive substances and easily mistaken as such. There you go. SCP-939 Speech replicating murder doggo yeah. yeah This, in my humble opinion Why is this cater? Because they actively hunt humans and we don't know how many there are so, oh, okay. So there's like they're they're actually still out there. Yeah, we don't have they're not all fully of them. contained. Yeah, no, we don't have all of them. Hey, did you think they were a myth? What? No. No. I was thinking that I had the misconception that they were all contained. No. Oh. No. There's a there's a bunch out there. There's an MTF force that just goes after them. All right. I'd say certain groups again. Yeah. Because ultimately a pack of these things is still just a pack of these things. The 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 speech imitating murder doggos are not going to be planning a revolution <laughs> or anything of that sort. No, okay. Look, they'll start a revolution if we teach them French. Oh my gosh. No. Actually, no, there's many languages. Never mind. That's not how it works, Penguin. I know, I know that's not how it works. Anyway. Even even more so. Why specifically French? The French Evo Revolution was largely inspired by the American Revolution. Fair point, yeah. I think I'll just do two more and then I'll in stream. Right. Like <laughs> like they like they noticed, oh hey, look look at those guys over at the colonies. They they shucked off Britain. Maybe we can try doing that. Oh yeah, and look at the king. He spent needlessly large amounts of money trying to stick it to Britain rather than helping us not starve. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, what do you think dogs can read? Shut up. Anyway, this <laughs> next is... I want to teach a dog how to read. This next SCP is a spider parasite. So horrifying. So people who have arachnophobia and <coughs> Pika should probably stay out of stream for a moment. <laughs> Why would we single out Pika? It's not like Pika has any issues with arachnids and or insects. Not at all. No, I've never heard Pika immediately tr threaten violence upon us for showing images of spiders before realizing they had arachnophobia. Nope, not at all. <laughs> that wouldn't be us. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, on with the SCP. Excuse me as I break my femur. No. Anyway, SCP-940 is a uh, parasitoid organism with some superficial similarities to trogloptic members of the class Arachnida. Arachnida or Arachnida? Arachnida, probably. Adult specimens are highly agile and possess leg span spans from 4 to 7 meters due to the difficulty in separating SP-940 from their hosts. Average, well, average weight and body size are moot considerations. Each of their eight translucent legs is dotted regularly with six types of specialized sensory organs, IR senses fit organs, apulae or Lorenzini, compound and non-compound eye sensitive to UV, and two additional organs of indeterminate function. An end in two, an end in large tarsal claws, assessing scopulae and setules common among species of hunting spiders and allow them to climb sheer ver vertical surfaces with ease. SCP-940 possesses a radial nerve net similar to Estriolidea, uh, or the common starfish, with no central nervous system. The possibility that SCP-940 rely on their host's brain power for processing of external stimuli cannot be ruled out at this time. Damn, that paragraph has so, so many fucking Latin words. <laughs> you want something that'll hurt your brain? No. Anyway, Out there on the shush. internet. Not with the SCP. <laughs> Infection occurs following the explosion, exposure to bodily fluids containing SV940's eggs and larvae. The life cycle of SCP's 940 for initial infection and maturity as it follows. Stage 1. Infection occurs with exposure to bodily fluids contaminated with SP940 eggs and or larvae. While larvae at this point are too small to be seen by the human eye, microscopic testing has revealed eggs are typically no larger than 3 to 5 microns in diameter. SB940 library and the only stage of its life cycle with many organ systems necessarily for survival prior to integration with a host possesses leg spans from 7 to 17 microns. Stage 2. The first SB940 larvae to hatch will begin cannibalizing any un unhatched eggs than each other in order to ensure only that one larvae develops into an adult within a given host. Hosts will often complain of abdominal and chest pains at this stage. Note, cases of as many as five larvae reaching maturity within a single host, though rare due to competitiveness between larvae for a host and the enormous strain placed upon the host's body, have been documented. Stage 3. The remaining SP-940 larvae migrates to the chest ca cavity, typically attaching to a ma major artery, the heart, or spinal cord. Positioned with its legs oriented around the host's back, internal organ systems of the larvae begin atro atrophying. Stage 4. Yeah, atrophy. Atrophy. 
The carapace of SCP-904 is sort of a body breaks down, legs remain intact, the circulatory system of the larvae conjoins with that of the host as does its nervous system, though to a lesser extent. The larvae begins producing a number of enzymes which causes the host body to increase production of a number of hormones including human growth form the human growth hormone. Earlier abdominal chest pain is subsides, the host experiences an increase in appetite and general restlessness. Stage 5 Approximately three weeks after initial infection, SP940 begins to alter serotonin and dopamine levels in a host's brain, causing hosts to experience feelings of happiness and well-being. The legs of the larvae now supply blood and nutrients to the host's circulatory system begin to penetrate the skin of the bag's host body. Hosts typically do not report any discomfort or alarm at this and rarely seek treatment. Who would not seek treatment if something's poking out of your back? This just sounds like a really hey. fucked up version of pregnancy. Due to what the SVP releases into the host. They they mess with their dopamine so that they feel happy. Yeah. This yeah. is something that by the way, fun fun fun, definitely not terrifying fact. This is again not too dissimilar to how some insects do things in reality to other insects, especially wasps and a handful mm. of others. I hate wasps so much. I think everyone hates wasps. wasps they shouldn't wasps. exist. Wasps should not exist. Anyway. Like wasps, are, but they're actually very good for nature. Just yeah, they're... Nature and, they're, and nature's scary. Fair point. Yeah. Anyway, oh, plus, like, plus, plus very, very important to mention, plus, since humans are causing the rapid decline of bees, wasps are going to become increasingly important because they're also major pollinators. Uh, your pollinator is surprisingly uh, mosquitoes. What'd you I say? I fucking hate mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are major pollinators. Oh, really? I did not know yeah. that one. Yes, mosquitoes pollinate. How? Like, do they, like, spend enough time on flowers to do that shit? The only one that grab blood are the females, and that's only when they're pregnant. Oh, okay. Literally every other moment of their time is pollinating or, like, living in water. Dang. Yeah. So in other words, now we can be slightly grateful that a bunch of dinguses brought mosquitoes over to the U.S. and the oh, Americas? Sure. The only mosquitoes that bite anyone are pregnant women. Does that mean all pregnant women are vampires? No, no that oh, no. What <laughs> we're talking about mosquitoes here. What that also what that also means. Oh. Actually, I just realized that that joke was meant to be progressive, but would actually come off as sexist. So never mind. Oh. My. Anyway, gotcha. uh, were you about to make this entire situation worse? Anyway, Probably. back with the SCP. Stage 6. Approximately 5 weeks after initial infection, SCP-940 reaches full size and maturity. Hosts have secretive, secretive about their... No, hosts are secretive about their condition. A form of communication is believed to occur between SCP-940 and its hosts. For, for example, hosts have displayed a vague awareness of things occurring behind them. SP-940 specimens often retract their legs, holding them flat against the host's back, allowing them to be concealed by relative ease by clothing. Additionally, SP-940 triggers an increase in levels of testosterone in host's body, leading to increase the uh, not reading that word. Infection of new hosts is facilitated oh. through contact with bodily fluids. Contaminating with SV940's eggs. And I'm not reading the rest of it. You can already figure out what's going on. Yeah. 
Is this just word. a really fucked up version of pregnancy? No, no, it's more like a xenomorph. Also, fair point. This, but that also makes kind word, of just a really fucked up version of pregnancy, though. Well, no, because it's well, not at preg. I no, it's not. Pregnancy is something that is specifically evolved into animals that have the ability to do so. These are eggs doing things within a foreign body. Also, the thing I was going to add is that effectively to, to give a clips notes version, the 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 ang the angry mind control spiders starts using the human reproductive system to try to spread. Yeah. That's not even the final stage. Yeah. Horrifying. St stage seven, the final stage. Uh oh. All infected individuals that have survived six weeks of infection are considered to be in stage seven. Stage seven infectees report the loss of a sense of individuality, gradual clouding of the of the eyes leading to loss of eyesight and culminating in near total blindness and bouts of catatonia and catalepsy. Death is typically due to aneurysm caused by skyrocketing blood pressure, heart or kidney failure, or exaggeration. Infected at, at this stage can be identified by the strange choking sound they issue as they attempt to draw in more oxygen than is possible. When the host is by large, when the host by large, dies, SV940 will continue to animate the corpse by means of its limbs entering a berserk state. In this That's fucked up. In this state, SV940 will attempt to reproduce and infect with no regard for concealment, generally inflicting physical violence and blood transmission to do so. This state can last from one to three days before SV940 expires. Hmm. All right. So to Horrifying. recap, so to recap, angry mind control spider, which is kills all of its brethren, makes makes host uncomfortable. Then it takes over host, continues to grow, and gain nutrients from said host. Then it goes through a process that allows it to become an STI. So that it can spread to other people before eventually causing its host's death. Yep. Isn't the SCP universe fun? No. <laughs> no. I'd love I... This is fun, right? You know, no. talking about spider STIs. This is fun. Ugh. SCPs that turn humans into nests. There's multiples of those, actually, come to think of it. Let's but still, pretend uh, I never said anything, and Hatcher never said anything. Let's move on. We haven't I'm even put it in a, in a class yet. Group. Move on. Group. This thing doesn't exist certain anymore. Yeah, certain groups. Yeah, certain groups. Also, what are you... What, why did you say forget anything that I or you said? Because we were both talking about uh, certain parts of the SCP that uh, world that's a little dark. Yeah. Oh, also, okay. Hatcha, I I sent you a little bit more information that I decided to cut out. In case. Yeah, that's forget. specifically why I referred to it as an STI. <laughs> it literally. It literally... What other ones do. I'd have to say the spider one is gentle in comparison. Like oh that's my true. God. Or oh yeah, like That's the bone true. hive. Don't yeah, like bone. Bone don't, hive. don't talk about the bone hive. It's, it's <laughs> like white <laughs> don't rule number one, don't talk about the bone hive. The what? <laughs> look it the up what if you now? wanna look it up if you wanna read it, Dragon, but we're not reading no, it this string. Dragon to look up the bone hive. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's 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 an SCP that was inspired by an actual incredibly horrifying medical condition. Yeah. It's awful. Read it if you wish to regret everything. I already
already regret existing, so I don't think that would be very hard. You will regret re existing even more. Why? Oh. Because you read it. Fair. Apparently, this is not even a joke, SCP. But apparently, they made a face, a tweet, and a Facebook post, and they put it in this fucking SCP article. In the one you're about to read, or yes. the, the spider one? Not the okay. spider one. I already know the spider. This thing is just. This thing is just. Awful. Yes, the spider one has now affected Twitter and Facebook. <laughs> So that's why that's everyone little, on I, Twitter is stupid. That's a little more than an STI. <laughs> I don't know what that would be classified <laughs> as. <laughs> anyway, uh, SCP-947 is a contagious mimetic uh, expletive designed by its creator as meaning a really fake annoying person or a thing that you wish would just naff off already. You could tell this person's British. Any English speaker who hears or reads SP-947 will automatically understand its definition, know the name of its creator, and begin to incorporate it into their vocabulary. Over time, affected individuals will gradually replace all expletives in their vocabulary with SP-947. SP-947 first came to the attention- Can I ask a question? What? Is this a J? Is this a, a No, J it's not. It's not a oh. joke. It You're sounds right? like a joke, though. Oh, God. It well, does I, sound like horrifying, I haven't even finished reading it. Sorry. <laughs> I was asking. <laughs> SP-947 first came to the attention of, S of the Foundation on June 30th, 2017, when it was used in tweets by members of the British cabinet. The anomalous properties of the SP-947 were immediately recognized due to the insertion of the creator's name. An investigation of the campus social media activity traced the name to a tweet made by one Gautam Ramesh, an Indian immigrant living with, with his parents in Leeds, England. Ramesh sent the initial infection vector via Twitter and Facebook due to social media accounts of several British defense contractors where it rapidly spread and was able to infect the British cabinet within two days. Oh, God. Ramesh's initial tweet was as follows. You should go check out this cool technology or you'll look like a expletive redacted. His Facebook I wonder post... why. Yeah. <laughs> His Facebook post was as follows. Hi, all. I just come up with a very cool new technology. Ideas and words. Help me spread the wor word or you'll look like a real expletive redacted. At this time, SP-947 is used approximately redacted percent of all English speakers worldwide. So this is like an incredibly infectious. Okay. It's, 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 it's incredibly infectious. But it's also a reclassify. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is literally not harmful in the slightest. It's just it's, annoying. It's <laughs> it's people knowing an expletive. That's yeah. it. It's pretty much just my existence. But like everyone says the dumb shit that I do. I say. Okay, never mind. This is a ZK. <laughs> this is a ZK. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I have the ability to end the world? No, that's the universe. That's like no, reality. not yeah, reality. Yeah. Reality is we know. Wait, which is bigger, reality or universe? Reality. Yes. Does. Reality. Reality what because What type of question there... is that? Okay. Right. Okay. Here's here's the thing. People think that there might be multiple universes. Okay. So reality would be bigger. Ah. Uh, yeah. Like, like, okay, if multiple universes exist, reality is bigger than a universe.